As the baseball season rolls on for Mississippi State and Ole Miss, the postseason accolades are starting to flood their inbox. Today, MSU's JT Ginn was named the National Freshman Pitcher of the Year after going 8-4 with a 3-3-6 earned run average. Ginn becomes the 36th Freshman All-American in program history. A pair of Ole Miss Rebels also landed Freshman All-American status as pitcher Doug Nikhazy and Kevin Graham were honored. Nikhazy worked his way into a starter's role later in the season, posted a 2.98 earned run average on the year, while Graham had the power stroke going, lacing 10 home runs, ranking fourth on the team. The Major League Baseball draft rolling on today, beginning with round 11. 11 total Mississippi State Bulldogs were drafted, while another eight total Rebels came off the board. Here you see whose dream was realized today. Ole Miss's Parker Carisi going to the Blue Jays in the 21st round, while Cole Zabowski was taken 25 picks later by the Tigers. Here's a few more notable selections for you, which includes Marshall Gilbert going to the Pirates into the 29th round. All in all, 1,217 players coming off the board in 40 total rounds. That right there is a lot of dreams coming true. After an approval from the NCAA Playing Rules Oversight Panel, men's college basketball will see the distance from the basket to the three-point line extended. Starting this season at Division I level only, the new three-point line distance will be 22 feet, one and three-fourths inches. The current three-point distance for last season was set at 20 feet and nine inches. Other rule changes include, amongst others, allowing coaches to call live ball timeouts late in games and conducting instant replay reviews on goaltending or basket interference late in games. The three-point rule change will go into effect at the D2 and 3 levels starting next year. The 151st running of the Belmont Stakes is this Saturday in Elmont, New York. Preakness winner War of Will is one of the favorites this year, but he won't be eligible for the Triple Crown. War of Will drew the ninth starting position, which should work out in his favor. Ten horses in all are in the field. Action begins right around 3 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. All-star outfielder Andrew McCutcheon will miss the remainder of the season after suffering a tear of his left ACL. The outfielder was on first base at the top of the first inning against the Padres earlier this week in San Diego when he was trapped between first and second before injuring his knee trying to get out of the rundown. He dropped to the ground grabbing his left knee before being taken from the field. He signed a three-year $50 million deal with the team during the offseason. We had a thriller last night in Oklahoma City to put a cap on the women's college softball season. Game two, best of three championship series between UCLA, Oklahoma. Sooners trailed in the seventh till that solo shot from Shane Knight and changed the complexion of everything with just one Swift swing, but in the bottom half of the inning, it's all tied, not for long. Kinsley Washington flares one RBI single out to left. Throw home, tad bit late. Bruins of UCLA have their 12th NCAA National Championship and their first since 2010, sweeping that series with the Sooners two games to none. Oh, man, she just barely missed it. We should have had a, a guessing contest of how many players were taken in the MLB draft and see how close you... You guys came, but I gave you the answer. How many? Yeah. How many Mississippi State and no, no, no. Mississippi. How many players overall were taken? Oh. 